What is up my special bean brothers and sisters? We are back at it again with another figure review. This time we're going to be reviewing the Red Ranger from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. One of my favorite Power Rangers light or collection from the line. I don't really mess with the other lines as far as like the Power Rangers figures, but this one I do really mess with. I grow fond of all of them and all not to say that they don't have their gripes and pros and cons, but without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, here we have my boy Jason, the Red Ranger, out of the package and onto the rotating stand. And it took me a while to get this dude. Everywhere I was looking, he was either overpriced or they only had the, what is it, not the Sparkle Edition, the metallic version of it. I don't really care for the metallic regular Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This one, I just needed a solid good old-fashioned tyrannosaurus ranger red ranger that's all i needed i got the green ranger white ranger black i got them all except for him he i don't know why i delayed myself on getting him he should have been one of the first ones that i've gotten don't really care for the sh figure arts line since they don't even make them anymore the only sh figure arts let's see mighty morphin power ranger that i have from them is the white ranger tommy one and that was the it was the re-release one i think it was like the 25th anniversary or 30 anniversary and i got them for pretty cheap it was like 35 bucks and these guys they're they're very budget friendly you can find them find them at walmart and target a lot of times target has their exclusives but you know how that goes so as far as the aesthetics he looks really good i like i like his red that being my favorite color but he is not my favorite ranger so the head sculpt looks good nothing too crazy on there you get you get what you get when you buy these figures up uh, as far as the paint applications there's a little bit of different white pigmentations from the inside of his shoulder to the front piece of the diamonds right there uh his let's see the molds on his arms are a little bit different reds so, so there's different reds on here and there's different whites on here they all can't be the same color because they are not made from the same plastic or mold so let's get him off the rotating stand and let's get into the articulation okay guys you already know we start from head to toe like we always do so he's able to go down about that much able to look up about that much and then of course he has the side to side, so nothing crazy there. As far as the shoulders, they can, mine, mine is a little bit stiff, but nothing too crazy. It's very standard, like what with what we get with the other Power Ranger Lightning Collection line. So he can do the T poses, he can do the same thing on the other side. He has a bicep swivel right here. And also he can kind of come in because of the butterfly joint. Now the butterfly joint on this, I like the range in motion. You can get some dynamic posing with this, but man, does this look ugly. Like it makes him look like his shoulder is dislocating. Okay, moving on to the elbows. He has double jointed elbows right here. They bend, they have that little piece that's kind of sticking right there on the on his double jointed elbow which looks ugly as well and let's see does he have no he has no glove cut right there on the forearm his hand can go in and out but they're able to go let's see yeah you can take the the wrist pegs off so they just slide in like that let me see don't want to bend this guy or he's not supposed to bend okay Right here on the abdomen, he has a cut right here in the very beginning, or I should say on the top. It's not really giving me anything. I mean, he can do the side to side and he can move back a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Uh, his bottom part though is where it shines. So he look can look down like that. And let's see, he can do some flips if he needs to. Let's get it. Uh, the detail right there on the coin looks nice. Let me see if I can get a better close-up. Yeah, you can kind of see the 
Tyrannosaurus Rex. Looks really, really good. And then you also have his, let's see if I can take it out, his blaster right here, which is poorly painted. So, I mean, like I said, you get what you get. So moving on down to the articulation, right there on his thigh, his leg can go up that much, and then he has a thigh cut right here. So if he needs to come across somebody's head, he can. Let's see those knees. He has double jointed knees. Just make sure to be careful because mine is a little bit stiff. I don't know about yours. Comes in about that much. And then he has a boot cut right there. And then as far as the foot articulation, he can go up that much, down that much. And then we have the ankle pivot right here. So that's really nice. And that's going to be it for the articulation. Let's take a look at his accessories. So when it comes to the accessories, I'm sorry, we're going to start with the head pieces. So come on, if you can focus, Jason. Okay, so nothing really too crazy right here. I mean, nice hair sculpt right there on the top as well as in the back. Nothing too crazy about this. Does it look like him? Nah, it doesn't. It just looks like somebody else that, I mean, if you kind of get him in the right light and kind of maybe shut off some of the, the light right here, it kind of maybe can look like him, but otherwise not. Nah. That ain't you. Next, we're going to go ahead and start with the hands. He only comes with two pairs of hands. So he has the grab hands that he has right now. And then he has these two close, closed fisted hands right here. So very, very standard with what we get. And then we get his sword, his, icon, his iconic power sword right here. So you can see that the red Tyrannosaurus Rex power coin is right there. I think it's present on the other side. Yep. I don't think any side is more detailed than the other. No, I don't think so. I like right here at the handle uh, has that pattern right there. That looks really good. And there's a slight indentation pattern on the actual sword. I don't know if you can kind of see that there. Yeah, there you go. And then we get the effect piece that just slides on and I don't think there's really any real or right or wrong way. I just slide it on like that and it looks good. So I'm about to put as much accessories as I can on him and give my final thoughts. And here is Jason the Red Ranger with as much accessories as I can put on him in somewhat of a dynamic pose. I mean, he doesn't really come with much, especially for the price point being. He's a really nice figure to have if you already own a lot of these other power ranger lightning collections his sword looks really nice the effect piece goes on him very smooth and the hands do what they supposed to as far as fitting and holding all of his weapons if you don't already have this figure i suggest going ahead and get him only because you know within time as well as we all know with figures they'll the price will start to go up but who knows maybe with him it might stay at the price point that he is i got him from big bad toy store so that's for me the only reason why it took a while for me to get him but my final thoughts on him is he's a great figure great figure i may be a little biased only because i've been wanting him for so long but he is almost the exact same copy with what we get with other power rangers lightnings collection all right, guys, that's going to wrap this video up on the Red Ranger from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Let me know in the comment section below if he's going to be a pass or a grab. Major Piccolo shout out to everybody supporting since day one. And like I've said, the channel is lazy, but the movement ain't. Oh,